Every brand. <laughs> well, if you want to put this day into perspective, how would you describe it? Um, full of conversations. Um, very. It's been very, very. It's been fun. It's been fun. You know, I've been asked questions that I haven't been been asked before. Um, I feel like I've gave out a good bit of information about our team that I. I feel like it's good for people to, to want to hear because I, we want to be the model program. So I, I, I feel like it's important for people to understand what we're all about. So that's been, it's been good. To, it's been good to um, give out information, but a bunch of the questions be repetitive. But that's fine with me. I understand. You guys have only lost two. You guys have only lost two conference games in three years. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like there's a big gap? between you guys and everybody else? No, I won't say that. I mean, you can talk about that as far as the past years. It might be a big gap, but every year there's a new team. You know what I mean? Guys coming in, guys going out. So this team, this 2018 team hasn't done anything. So it's not really a gap as far as what what we've done. So I don't really focus on that too much. But it can be if we have a good year. So we'll see. We're going to talk about the question as many guys that you don't see on a weekly basis. Right. Do you get a better understanding of how Clemson is viewed when you see guys from Louisville answering these questions? Yeah, yeah, no question. And it's, a, and it's a, and I'm cool with that because I understand. We want to be a program where, you know, a lot of people want to enjoy talking to us and see what we're about. So it's, it's cool. I like it. Yeah. Who are you talking about repetitive questions? How big of a factor was the way that last game ended out last year to turn your, your choice to come back and play this year? Did that factor in at all? I mean, it meant a lot. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to end their career on a loss. You know what I mean? Um, Obviously, there were a lot of reasons why I made my, my decision between, but I will say this, after I made my decision, that that, that loss um, kind of kind of resonated with me as far as my, a lot of our motivation for this year. So, I mean, our goal is to win the closer, and we didn't do that. So, hopefully, with the class I came in, most of them are seniors now, we can, we can get another crack at it. Clearly, you and AJ kind of made the decision together, and then you hear Christian is the last piece of the Power Rangers to make that call that he's <laughs> coming back. When you hear from him, that all you guys are back here together. What's the moment like in your mind? What are you thinking? Oh man, it was crazy because we really, I'm serious, like we had a group chat as far as like just hearing like the different, you know, like stuff that we hear through uh, like the, the grapevines as far as, you know, maybe like what some NFL teams are thinking about us or like what, like what are your reasons for coming back? But we really like made it as an individual type thing, you know what I mean? Like it, none, of, none of it was like a group effort. And so when I had, I, I, told, I told the group chat first, like, hey, I, I, woke, I know what I want to do. Decided to come back, and then Austin did his. And Austin, when I made my decision, Austin and Christian was like, "Hey, like, hey, yeah, hey, like, we still got time." I'm like, "We got three days before we got to make a decision. Like, what you mean time? Like, we've been waiting long enough. You know what I mean?" But it was just like a blessing in disguise because, you know, we all came in together, and to see that, you know, well, I still have another year left, but to see that those two guys, I get to finish out their careers here together, it's gonna be a great, a great experience. Was it tough to make the first decision before Austin and Christian, or, or, or were you? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, because <laughs> it was like that. I gotta be the first one to say it, but I was like, I don't really care about that. You know what I mean? So it was at first, but once I really just got tired of, you know, waiting, I was just like, I know what I want to do. The magazine covers, the, the attention, all that kind of stuff. What are your thoughts on out of the way this defense lines? It's cool. It's good. It's good publicity, but you know, you get tired of. You get tired of people hearing about how good you are, how good you can be. It, it gets really, it gets really annoying. But, I mean, I, I understand it comes with the territory when you have a talented group of people, um, and you're at a, a big time school who's who has a lot of expectations. I understand it, so I'm not really mad at it. I'm just just making it known that it's it's a lot. You know what I mean? But, uh. I'm not too I'm not too affected by it because I understand that at the end of the day you got to go out and perform. What, know is, what, I mean? what is it that's annoying? Is it the time or is it that people are kind of annoying you guys? That people anoint you. You know what I mean? We haven't even really played yet. You know they just assume that we're the best uh, be front for ever. They just assume that we're gonna have a great year. But it's kind of it's kind of like a discredit to to yourself because people don't really understand the work that you put in to be great. They think it's just, just it just happens. You know what I mean? But. It's fine. I understand. People don't. People don't know what they don't know. So can't really be too mad. It's been a big day for your defensive group, as sure. you probably know. First what was off, what right? was the oh the, the new contract? New contract, a new record for an assistant coach. What, what was the logistics of it? Uh, the words <laughs> two and million go in the same sentence. And, uh, <laughs> Six or seven years. Well, let me just, let me tell you, it, it's not worth that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. But yeah, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. But, uh, I mean, I, I, there's nobody more deserving than that than, than Coach B. Um, obviously, he's the type of guy who's not going to take much credit for. He probably gives credit to his players or the, the other coaching staff. But I mean, there's nobody that I feel like in college football or coaching in general who deserves something like that more than him. It, it, 
in terms of you know his passion, I mean, how much you guys have a lot of talent on defense? Mm -hmm. How much is he kind of the guy who sews that together? Maybe if, oh, if you man. had a different guy. Then oh man, it just intensifies your passion to a whole other level when your coach um, has a, has a, the same passion for the game as you do. When he wants to see you succeed as much as you as you want to succeed for yourself, man, it's huge. And that's what I feel like is neat because a lot of guys like. When freshmen come in, they wanna they wanna be great. They wanna make all the plays, but they don't really know like what it takes. But Coach V understands that it takes, you know, going through the grinds of a, of a, a hard fall camp, um, doing the little things at all times, and that's what he holds us accountable for at all times. So that's the things that I take my hats off to him because he does it on a consistent basis, day in and day out. Never takes a day off, and I love it about him. You guys talk a lot about winning games in the trenches and, and that being what yeah. games are won. The defensive line and the offensive line, how, how did you think you guys performed against Alabama? <clears throat> Um, we perform, I feel like we performed well. We performed well, but we don't feel like we, we, we did enough that we could have. That we we don't feel like we did enough. You know, we didn't win the game. You know, obviously, uh, obviously, both sides has to had their hard time. This national championship. Alabama's a great team. You know what I mean? But there's some times that we feel like we could have nipped some things in the butt. Um, obviously, when you get into the red zone, and they score that touchdown. Uh, I feel like Hurst threw it to. Was it? Uh, I can't remember who it was, but Hurst threw that touchdown in the end zone. Uh, there was obviously some things that we feel like you just can't let happen as a defense. Like you got to play great reds on defense, especially in the college football playoff, especially against Alabama. So, but you live and you learn, man. You live and you learn. So we're gonna try to capitalize that on that. This have, year. have you moved on from that game yet, or is it still? Um, I mean, it's in the past, but I don't. I still, I still think about it. It's just, it's just, it was right there. You know what I mean? You're so close to, to getting a chance for another national championship that. It's right there in front of you, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to move on from. I say it was my motivation for the um for this year's uh, off season. Cleveland, you, 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 everybody's known as you guys the best defensive line in the league. If you had to pick the best offensive line in the league that you got to face this year, who would it be? That we're going to face this year? Yeah. Oh man, I don't know. I haven't seen, I haven't seen many, many people. Uh, yeah, I can't I can't really give you a, a good answer on that. I don't know. Obviously, people.